frighten the director? It looks like there's a way in over there. Let's take a look. the ability to hide how I'm feeling. I'll keep working at it. To be honest, I'm not really cut out to be a leader. At first, my dream was to read up on military strategy and perhaps become an advisor. Constantly communicating with people, trying to retain their morale, having to read between the lines, making sure everyone gets the recognition they deserve. It's such hard work. You're somehow supposed to make people feel wonderful just from being in your presence while also commanding their respect. It doesn't come naturally to me. And truth be told, it's something I never wanted for myself. But because of my bloodline, I was always going to end up being the Divine Priestess sooner or later. Like it or not, it's just the way it is. So... Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I come here to just lose myself in a book and relax for a while. Don't worry, it doesn't affect my work. I handed over preparations for the victory feast to someone else. I have to make a speech tonight, and I mustn't give the troops any reason to suspect that something could be wrong. This piece was hard won, and I want them to feel at ease. Is there anything we can do to help? I should be feeling energized again soon if I hold off on work for a little longer. <sighs> if only there was some way I could listen to a good read on military strategy. I'm sure that'd speed up the process. I was reading a book last time I was here, but... Oh, I only got about halfway through. Oh... Where did I put it? We'll find it for you. And then we'll read it out to you, to help you recover. You... do that... for me? Thank you. <laughs> I'm really lucky you came back to Watatsumi Island.
me around, no one would dare try any funny business at the victory feast. A friend of mine was really looking forward to this feast. He even promised he'd sing a song with me. Uh, if only he was still here. Tatsumi Island whenever you want. You'll always be a hero here. I do hope the future will be free from the trials and tribulations of the past. If every day can be as happy as today, that would be a blessing. So much fighting. Hmm. We could all do the rest. Hey, anybody need some fruit or vegetables? Get them today. They're on sale. I'm not drunk. Another one's not gonna do me any harm. <laughs> Tatsumi Island is finally at peace, and it's all thanks to Her Excellency, Sanganomiya. Recently, um, let me think. Well, the biggest thing for us is that we can finally get back out on the ocean to fish. During the hostilities, the open sea was full of warships. We just had to make do with what little fish and shrimp we could get our hands on closer to shore. When the catch wasn't good, we'd all go hungry. Oh, the poor kids were crying all day and night, but there was just nothing I could do. We'd go to bed ravenous and be tossing and turning all night long, trying to keep it together until the morning. At least things are finally improving now. I hear you're captain of Swordfish too, is that right? Well, uh, thank you for your service. Here, have a fish. It's freshly caught, so it's a bit, uh, fishy. But it's fine. Oh! No, no, no! We couldn't possibly... Ah, come on, take it! Without you, we'd probably still be going to bed hungry tonight. Her Excellency always teaches us to repay kindness with gratitude. Uh, okay, well, thanks. Come on, let's go talk to some others. Let's hope the peace talks go smoothly. The last thing we want is to go back to war. Hey there. Care for some fruit and vegetables? Nature's remedy when you overdo the barbecue. Are you referring to the thing about the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui? I've heard rumors, but nothing too detailed. It's funny you should say that the soldiers seem excitable, though. I've had the same feeling. See that guy over there? He's been acting strange these days, always shouting and waving his spear around when he's got nothing to do. He scared the heck out of me a few times. Ugh, it's a miracle the fighting has finally come to an end. Yeah, I really hope we don't go making any more trouble for ourselves. 
Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have much information. If you still have questions, you may as well go and talk to him. Sounds promising. Let's go see what that guy's deal is. Don't tell me. Captain of Swordfish 2, right? You actually came back. I thought you'd abandoned the platoon and made a run for it. Nuh-uh! We would never run from a fight! <laughs> is that so? All anyone talks about these days is peace and stability. Do you remember what the most important thing is to the Resistance? You got that right. So I'm gonna put you to the test. Time to see if you truly are a bona fide resistance warrior. I'll answer your questions, but only if you can beat me in a duel. Ugh, this guy. Would it kill him to just have a normal conversation? Uh, what do you think? Are we gonna do this? <laughs> we'll see about that. You're a strong fighter. <laughs> no wonder Her Excellency chose you. You really do have a warrior's will. <sighs> then maybe you can understand us. Captain, uh, comrade, <sighs> will you join us? Uh, we made it up. The story about the Tenryo Commission colluding with the Fatui, it didn't happen. Yes, that's exactly what we're hoping to achieve. Peace talks? Tch. Everyone's been drawn in by the idea. That's why the future of Watatsumi Island is at stake. What's to stop the Tenryo Commission from stabbing us in the back? And what's to stop the Raiden Shogun from issuing another Vision Hunt decree? We are the Resistance. Everything hinges on our warrior's will. We can't trust the Tenryo Commission or the Raiden Shogun but we can put faith in ourselves. Surely you agree with that? Uh, his point does kind of make sense, but something about it doesn't feel right to Paimon. Yeah, everything you said just now was pure speculation, wasn't it? Are you seriously willing to make up a wild rumor and ruin the piece everyone's worked so hard for, all because of some imaginary situation that may not don't take that tone with me. Acting like you're above all of this? What would you understand? For the sake of victory, 
We embodied the warrior's will to the fullest. You understand? We were all in. Now they're suddenly trying to tell us that none of it matters anymore? You have me just put down my weapon and start living like an ordinary person, but how can I? How can I when... when every time I close my eyes, I see the faces of the friends we lost in battle? Every time I see them there in my mind's eye, it remind me that I can never forgive the Tenryo Commission and never forgive the Vision Hunt Decree. <sighs> I guess you're not one of us. Well, whatever. Go ahead and tell San Gonamiya if you want, but you're too late to stop us now. Too late? What do you mean? <laughs> Darn. Doesn't seem like he's gonna answer that one. What are we gonna do? This is really serious. We need to give Kokomi the full story right away. <laughs> to this. I think I understand what Kozen means when he says it's too late. The talks don't begin until tomorrow, but both sides have already sent their guards to the location. They are responsible for making sure the area is safe and secure. I highly suspect that one of Kozen's pro-war co-conspirators will have infiltrated the guards with an intent to reignite hostilities tomorrow during the negotiations. Well, that's no good! Do you want us to head over there now and switch out the guards? That won't work. Firstly, the act of bringing a new team of guards to a neutral negotiation site will put both sides on high alert. It would almost certainly push the pro-war faction into taking action. They would attack the Tenryo Commission's guards and... we'd be in danger of war breaking out once again. Not to mention... We have no idea how many of Watatsumi Island's soldiers are involved in this plot. If we change the guard in haste, we face the issue of not knowing who to trust. Sounds like a really tricky situation. Uh, so is there really nothing we can do about it? Don't let it worry you. What's done is done. Hmm. Now it falls to me to devise a counter plan. These soldiers crossed the line, but the blame is not theirs alone. Whatever happens, I will find a way to ensure they do not come to harm. Let's meet here again tomorrow. <laughs> 